Do you think AI is going to destroy the 3D industry and take away all our jobs? Let's find out. Well, before we dive in, I want to do a shout out to fellow content creators. If you're in the 3D space and you're making content online, consider making a reaction video, right? Uh, if multiple people uh, kind of share their views on this, we'll get a much better founded opinion. And I'm sure that a lot of viewers will uh, be happy with that. Okay. All right. Well, what's going on with AI? Well, uh, first of all, will it threaten our jobs? I think to a certain extent it already does, but let me break this down, right? Um, I think the biggest impact is on entry level jobs. So if you are in an industry where you get very simple assignments, right? Simple props, that kind of thing, that is definitely an area where AI can compete. And we already see uh, jobs being lost in that area, all right? Now, at the end of the day, you need to consider what your actual job is as a 3D artist. And I had this discussion many, many times, right? Your job is to help visualize and uh, bring to life something that is an idea, a script, a story, right? That kind of thing. So what you need is communication skills. You need to be able to talk to that person to understand what they're looking for, what they want and, and whatnot, right? And by going back and forth, you shape an idea that becomes a visual, that becomes a character, that becomes and so forth and so on. Now, you're probably going to say, well, yeah, but that's a much more senior role in the 3D industry. That's a very true. So the first distinction I want to make is entry level jobs are much more at risk than more senior level jobs. Right. So if you are n not working in the industry yet, and you're looking for an entry level job, that's going to become increasingly difficult. If you are, let's say, a meteor uh, 3D artist, consider developing skills that are considered soft skills, right? Communication skills, negotiation skills, um, kind of creating the ability to work in a team to get uh, to drive something home, if you know what I mean, right? Okay. Now, there's also a distinction in what industry you work in, because there are early adopters and there are other industries that don't follow on that quickly. What does that mean? Well, a lot of people seem to want to work in the entertainment industry, right? Let's call it games and movies. Now, they're notoriously famous uh, in the 3D world for very much budget driven and, uh, you know, time pressure. So it has to be fast and it has to be cheap. Uh, that's never a good thing for any 3D artist, but with AI around, they will look for opportunities to use AI if they can, right? Again, there you will see this happening in um, entry level jobs where it's something that's easy to automate, right? If you're a, a, a lead character artist, then I don't see anything bad happening um, anytime soon, okay? Now, a lot of people seem to forget that there are tons and tons and tons of other jobs besides the entertainment industry, right? Nowadays, almost every single industry uses 3D in one way or another. Uh, I, once upon a time, used to work for a bed manufacturing company. They would weld tubes together, paint them, make beds, right? And they had a 3D artist there to visualize new products that haven't been created yet, right? So they couldn't take a photo, but they wanted artwork. Now, that's very specific because you can't just say, hey, AI, make me a visual of a bed. It has to be that bed and everything has to be right. That brings me to the next thing, and that is parameters, parameters and control. If you're in an environment where there are a lot of parameters to get your 3D asset or 3D model right, and a lot of control points, the more you have these, the more safe you will be, in my opinion, right? 
I'll give you an example. Let's say I want a 3D character for a game, and I say, hey, AI, make me a caveman, right? Should be good, but you're gonna get something that is almost 100% certain, not exactly what you had in mind, right? Now, let's add parameters. I want the height of the character to be so-and-so. I want the weight to be this. I want the hair color to be so. I want the eyebrows to be this. You get the point, right? So the more parameters you add, the more difficult it will be for AI to get it exactly right. So if you find yourself as a 3D artist in a discussion process with other people in the team where you're talking about all these parameters and more importantly, how you can control these parameters, I think you will have less to fear from AI, certainly the next coming years. And if you're not working in the entertainment industry, but in the, let's say, manufacturing industry or in other industry, I think it will even take longer before you're impacted, right? So in summary, uh, if you're in an entry-level job, try to advance fast, right? Uh, develop skills that are not necessarily related to the actual uh, art of 3D, right? Communication skills, team skills, all that kind of stuff. Um, if you are in the entertainment industry and you're thinking that things are going sideways, consider uh, looking for a job in another industry where they are moving a bit slower, where they're not advancing towards AI as fast, right? So yeah, that's kind of my, uh, my take on what's going on. I did a, an hour long uh, live stream on this. You can watch that, I'll put a link uh, below. And I'm really curious to hear what other people are thinking. So if you're a 3D artist, please let me know in the comments what you think. If you are a content creator and you want to do a reaction video, that would be awesome, right? Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys are all okay job-wise and otherwise, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.